Hi guys, it's your girl with Benjamin Buttons Online, and I'm coming to y'all today with uh, Jackass 2.0. Let's give a listen, alright? I don't want to know because there's no conceivable goddamn answer as to what a child six years old could do. I don't like to rush to judgment because some of these kids is bad as hell. Okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Stabbed six times. Of course, in a perfect world, the correct answer would be nothing. But guess what? We don't live in a perfect world. In this world that we live in, Namoria, the Gomez, says she stabbed her six year old son. Who the hell names the child Namoria? There's another, another mugshot. So therefore, this this thing already had a mugshot. What is wrong with people and kids? I'm not understanding. I got four. What the hell is wrong with people and kids? I got four kids, three grands. I have thought some some. Ooh, if I wasn't your mama type shit sometime. But really, killing? Nah, bro. I'm just. And I mean, I get some days when I just want to punch on them. I mean, just, just literally ball up my fist, like for real. And and I want us to go outside, and and as y'all say, square. I want to square. But I don't never want to kill him. Month old baby brother. Police say Saturday night, a woman here at the Agate Heights Apartments called 911 when her six-year-old neighbor ran to her, yelling that his mother was trying to kill him. Hello. Police got him to a hospital. He just deserved better than you. Yes. Please give no more info to come as the biggest he are, please. Oh, and by the way, Namoria is getting what she deserves, which is charges for attempted murder, assault, and criminal mystery. Thank God should. for that. All right. Charlemagne the God here. Today's donkey and today's boy. Now, y'all heard it, Uncle Charlotte. Uh, I forgot the lady name. It's not even relevant. Face looks rough. God, I'm working too hard. Um, at six, damn it, at six you're bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm gonna say it. At six, you're bad. Excuse my face, but at six you are not bad enough for me to want to stab you. At six years old, you are not that damn bad to where I want to stab you. And then you find her covered in blood with a, a, a what, a four month old? With choke, neck choke wounds around the, if you saw the spit from my eye, I apologize. And I'm trying to get my nails redone. Uh, <clears throat> while I'm doing, redoing my nails. I'm filling them in. Um, You are covered in your six year old's blood. And you are holding your a, a, a four month old, eleven month old, whatever, in your arms, and that baby has a handprint 
around its neck where you try to choke it. Now this other baby of yours has a punctured lung. What in, in somebody, anybody out here in America tell me what is wrong? What is wrong? Now mind you not, I'm not trying to be funny because I know my people got some, but I, the pictures, I see the picture yesterday in the story I posted yesterday. And the picture of the person that I saw today, no disrespect now, because we, we we crazy too, but we just started getting crazy. And it was like just started getting crazy to the point where we just crazy. Like publicly crazy. We've always been privately crazy. You know, it's always been a privately crazy type of thing with us. So what in the hell is wrong? I, I'm not understanding it. Only thing I can say is that, as, as the old folks used to say back in the day, my mother said it to me a lot. The Bible is getting full. The Bible is getting full because I'm not understanding. I, me, 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 a mother of four, a grandmother of three. I'm not understanding it. If somebody does anything to my my children, and my youngest is 16, I, I don't hear. I don't hear. I don't see. I'm talking. I'm doing a lot of talking because I'm letting you know I'm about to whip on you. But I don't. I don't hear nothing that you're saying, and I don't see anything that you're trying to do. But you will see me, and you will hear me, and I promise you, bro. You will feel me. So for me to be that, that, go hard for mine, why would I want to do something? And that's a six, I, I, my granddaughter is, my oldest granddaughter is six years old. I will go to hell with a pair of gasoline drawers on before I let anybody, her mother, her father, anybody hurt my grandbaby. So, how in the hell can you as a mother look at your child's sweet, innocent face and stab your child six times? Six times? Six? Six times. I'm, I'm not getting it. How? What, what, in what universe does this kind of behavior exist? What, what world are we living in where parents are just blatantly trying to kill, trying to, killing and trying to continue to kill their children? Because I'm not understanding, I don't, there are so many places when you get fed up, there are so many places where you can go and get help, where you can take your child and they will help you. But for you to try to kill your child because it deserved it, what? That's like those people with those 13 kids. Those are 13 kids? And, and they had them locked up and chained up in a house and some of them were almost 30. Back in the day, I couldn't understand. Cause I, I, I hope the dunk the other day for Charlotte tomorrow is something other than anything dealing with the child. I can't. I don't like these children's stories. I, I just don't. Give me something about somebody going in there getting robbed and getting shot by the person that they thought was old, sweet, innocent, and, and just wasn't gonna do nothing. It was in the back of the room and they didn't hear and see. Give me somebody that that, that got ran over because they was talking on their phone. No disrespect, I don't want nobody to die, but I mean, there's just some things that just, just, you know, sort of kind of, you ain't got no common sense, but having a child, it's a maternal instinct in, in you, even animals know, if you harm my child, I will harm you, but I actually watched the nature show the other day, and it, it 
it, 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 but then again, it was a rat, so, I don't know why I got so disturbed by the, by the, by the, by the show, I think I was watching the BBC channel, and, ooh, the BBC channel with the R. Kelly documentary, and, and, Folks, I'm just gonna I'm I'm gonna keep this 100 with y'all. Y'all probably gonna feel my if y'all do, y'all probably gonna say something. Him as a person, I'm I may never like, but I'm sorry. I still him as an artist, I still love the man. Now, I, do I think he was wrong? Damn right. If that was my daughter, I'll punch him in his face. But him as an artist, I, I can't take away all the 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 music that he has done so much over the years. And for me to say I'll never listen to his music again, I can't say that. I, I just can't. So I mean, Say nasty things in the comment section. I'll just block you. I ain't got time for all that. But I'm telling you, my, my, me personally, I'm sorry. It is what it is. I'm going to continue to listen to his music. I may not go to none of his concerts, which I've never been to. I may not ever go to none of his concerts, but I will still listen to his music. I mean, just, I'm sorry. But back to what I was saying. This thing, and I know that sounds like I'm contradicting because that's somebody's child and that could have been my child. But like I said, if I'd have found out about that, I'd have punched him in his face. So how can I still listen to his music? Maybe if that were my child, maybe I'd have punched him in his face and, and not listen to his music. Maybe. But that's who I am. That may not be who you are. So, I mean, if you go on my page with some... Oh, you a stupid person. I, I had liked your da, da da but I have to disagree with you. And I'm, I'm just there's a there's a thing on there that says this is a page. It's a thing on the page, whatever. Block. I'll, I'll block you. I'm not gonna like I said. I'm not gonna stop. He's a horrible person. He's a horrible, horrible person. But he's a great artist. So I'm sorry. How can I different, different, differentiate the two? Because until this came out, it was innuendoed back in the day with Aaliyah, but it was not completely confirmed. And until this all came out, everybody was an R. Kelly fan. You can't front and say you wasn't. Now this comes out and then everybody's no longer an R. Kelly fan. But, I mean, that's like being a Fairweather fan. Because you don't like some of the players on the team, you're going to switch teams. I just won't like some of the players on the team, but I'm going to always be a Raiders fan. I'm going to always be a Clemson fan. I'm going to always be uh, a Detroit Piston fan. I mean, I like some of the members on the team, but I'm going to always be a fan. But, yeah, this this whole thing about this, um, now I'm sorry, and, and I know, like I said, y'all going to come on my time, you're probably going to, somebody's going to say on my time that they disagree with how I feel, and they think I'm being contradicting, and they think that I'm retarded, and I'm slow, but that's my opinion. So if I feel that when you're coming on my page, and you're leaving just the, uh, negative comments, I'll block you. I will say, I may say something to you, but I will block you afterwards. But as far as um, the killing and the attempting to kill the children and all that stuff, I am totally against. I'm sorry. I was I was done with Susan Smith. I was done from day one. And and I'm not going to apologize for any of my feelings. I was done from day one. And there is no excuse you can give me as a mother why you are so upset with your child that you kill it. Maim it, uh, rape, or rape it. You beat it. You abuse it, verbally, physically, emotionally. There's, there's no excuse you can give me. Not saying that I'm the best mother, cause, uh, like I said, I got some of my kids, and right now today, sometimes I just wanna boot up with them, like real tall. I just wanna go outside and just, you know, pop off these nails, and we go hand in hand combat, just out there, just, just getting it, cause they grown now. I can't get in no trouble for this. It's two consenting adults, just bam, and all they're gonna say is, Y'all some crazy people. You a crazy mama, and you got a crazy child. And they're gonna probably feel some type of way because the child beating, fighting the mama. But if I initiate this fight and tell you, me and you just gotta get this thing on out, out the way, I'm gonna see which one of us is the baddest. 
Y'all can say what y'all want to say. This is my child. This is how I choose to handle the situation. But I'm not going to try to kill my child. I might cut my child's ass. Or I have cut my children's ass. And I'm quite sure it's a million of parents are there. And I will agree with me. I have cut my child's ass. But never once have I thought to kill, kill my child, stab my child, maim my child, make my child an, an invalid. None of that. So for you to go and get that mad to where you take a knife and you just poke in something that you gave life to. I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm uh, So I hope they come I hope he find some better stories because I got a feeling this one here. I done probably opened up a can of worms with that whole um kales thing I said, but hey, it is what it is. But yeah, this is your girl with Benjamin Buttons on one. I'm out.